Okay, folks, Randy here and at O'Hara. It's my opinion that we need to get the, the entire unit painted. Uh, it's, I wouldn't call it abused, but it's now had some generations of tenants in here. And just, just things, you can wipe things down. And for the most part, they've been, but there's still some, some things that are rubbed off and worn. So in my opinion, I think that we should um, uh, paint like this bathroom on the lower level. I don't think needs it at all. That's not too bad. In this closet here, you see there's a lot of stain here. And so I think, uh, that might be a mold issue from coming in from the outside wall. My suggestion would be just, just uh, bleach that, let it dry, and put a coat of primer on there, a good thick coat, and then just, just paint that in there or just leave the primer in there. The alternative is to pull all that drywall out and start looking to see if there's anything having to do with with uh, mold on the back wall there, and that could get really time consuming and pricey. So, um, anyways, for what that's worth, now there's some marks on the walls, and just every every place here. Um, it's just not fresh anymore. <clears throat> Check this out. Not bad. Uh, once again, I would leave the bathroom alone. The kitchen. I don't know why the refrigerator is sitting here. But um, we should move that to its rightful place. But then again, the walls. You see, there's some smudges and some scuffs. <clears throat> this last set of tenants, they're pretty tough on the place. And I think that that's just sort of their lifestyle and not a whole lot we can do. We can't legislate people um, keeping their house clean, in other words. I mean, you, you can tell them all you want. But um, I just think that that's a really tough thing to do is to legislate cleanliness. Okay, the bedrooms. Yeah, these most definitely need to be painted. We're still in a robust market, uh, but not as robust as it used to be. I think we have got to get some of these blinds replaced. See, uh, three or four sets of these blinds are broken here and there. <clears throat> now, I, you might be wondering why we're only getting to this now. And um, I should have said something the, the moment I found out that you weren't going to move back to town. It's because we, I was looking at a possible fair housing issue. Not so much on your part, because you're not following, you don't have to follow any of the guidelines. Um, this bathroom, I think it looks pretty good in here. So I would say no to all the bathrooms. We flushed all the toilets here just to make sure the rooms don't form. But uh, the fact is, is that these guys were from Ethiopia. They, they did not live cleanly and uh, they were just kind of uh, ornery at times. And sometimes people become, uh, become a, a victim mentality and if we 
uh, we, give, we gave these guys notice to move. And so they went ahead and performed all those necessary tasks in trying to, to figure out, I see how dirty that is. Whoops. All right, that has to be fixed. Uh, but they're, they're foreign people. They, they lived a, a dirty lifestyle in here. Not a lot we could do while they're here. We, we adjust everything uh, regarding security deposit. In other words, we get as much as we can. But you see, we gave them notice to move and, and then they did all the necessary tasks to move. They incurred quite a bit of expense to move. And then we, after they actually vacated, that's when we found out that, um, uh, oh, by the way, we're gonna put this up on the market for rent again. That is a, that is a, a perfect opportunity for them to say, hey, wait a second. You mean the owner's not moving back and you gave us a, uh, a notice to move because you said the owner is moving back. And um, so with saying that, they could say, well, what if you're mistreating us because of our brand of, of uh, where we came from or what our color is, you know, are you discriminating against us in some, some way? And so that could have opened up uh, a, a huge inquiry. And in fair housing, we are guilty until proven innocent, basically. And so I just wouldn't want to have, have gone through all of that. So I felt it necessary to wait at least a couple of weeks from the time these guys vacate to the time we put a sign up outside and, and start marketing the property again. Now, these guys are already moved. They're gone. And, um, but, you know, plans change. So this is, this is the, the, the true and accurate course of, of things happening. You've decided not to come back. But it's not, it doesn't appear that we gave them notice just because of the uh, type, kind, and brand of people they are, but for the circumstances. And your circumstances have changed. So it just, now we can begin marketing the property with confidence. And if they come back to us and say, hey, you did this, I say, well, you know, that, that was the original intention, but, but uh, things have changed. And um, I think I can handle that a lot better than if we were to do, have done that, you know, like the day after these guys moved out. Now, having said that, uh, it's just, it's my opinion, it's my expert opinion that we've got to get this painted and we can do walls and we can do some trim. We leave out the bathrooms. I think, I think we can maybe even, well, kitchen should be painted as well, but there's not much in the kitchen. So mostly uh, living room, dining area, bedrooms, hallways, and, uh, and some trim to uh, touch up. Maybe change out some of these blinds to keep them from looking bent up and those kinds of things. I don't know how much this is gonna cost, so we're gonna get somebody out here right now over the next day or two. Come out, take a look, give us a price on what it takes to get this painted. The vendors we use are good, they're competent, they're, they're uh, reasonably be priced, and they're accountable to us, and they're, they'll get the job done quickly, uh, as quick as we can anyways. Okay, so there you have it. Uh, this is O'Hara Court, and um, I'm gonna send this to you uh, just as soon as I get back to the office, and then go from there. All right, hope to hear back from you. Bye-bye now.